welcome to another episode of Forever Cruising. So, as you can see, I've got some bigger wheels on the old girl now, and they stick out about 75 mil past the guard, so it's illegal now to drive on the road. So what I've done, I've gone to eBay and got a roll of flares, so it's 75 mil flare, sort of like a bunning garden edging, but specifically made for a flexi flare. So I'll quickly undo these um, and I'll show you what they look like. So what you've got, you've got this little edging um, which will go against the outside of the car. If you come over a bit I'll show you. So it slips in underneath here, gives you a good edging on, the, on your car body and you'll screw in through this little uh, thin bit of the rubber here into the bottom of your um, guard. So that'll hold it on. We'll get a bit of sicker flex and we'll use that to seal it up really nicely and a couple of screws to whack it in. So because of how much room we have here we're going to quickly take the wheels off um, so we can actually get the room in to put these screws in. So the old man will help us out and uh, we'll hook to it. Flex to stick. We just have to clean the dirt and grime off here, so we'll get it with the water, and then we'll use the brake cleaner to dry it off. So if you just use a bit of brake cleaner, it'll make it dry off heaps quicker. Um, and I'd normally clean it the day before, but I forgot to do it yesterday, and I have to drive home to Wollongong in the afternoon. So this should speed it up. Perfect. So now we've got round to the fourth wheel, me and the old man have worked out the best way to do it, so I'll uh, throw out the first video we made on the first wheel that didn't go too well, and uh, we'll show you how to do it the right way. So the easiest way is you cut it roughly to length, like we already have now, um, and I'll get the old man to come in and line it up. So we've just got it right down to the bottom here, and we'll put in the first hole with the drill. And it pulls that away. We now have a slight hole in here. And what we'll do, sorry, you should really put the tech screw in so it fits properly. Just put a little bit inside the hole so that'll stop any rust forming where it's going to catch a lot of water and a lot of dirt will get stuck in there so that should stop all that rusting out quickly change the drill bit over So just a little 16mm tech screw, bring the rubber in, so that's alright. So now by doing that, you just make sure there's no little metal shavings left when we drilled it through the rubber. And now put it in just enough so it has a start. Push it around a bit further. So once the first one's in, uh, we'll just go around and do all the holes the whole way around the guard and then we'll come back through and uh, tech screw them in. So the reason why we don't screw it straight in as we're going is when you pull this away, you see all the metal shavings, so it's important to go and brush all these off and then when we put the um, sicker flex on that should block up the holes and stop it rusting as well so that's just a little trick to make sure you do so once you've screwed it 
Oh, sorry, drilled it out. We've got the rubber flare out of the way. You just slightly widen the holes with the tech screws. You just go around quickly and do all those holes. You just go along quickly, make sure all the metal shavings are off. And same along the rubber flare. Well, that's popped out, so we'll put that back in again. Tighten it up. Tighten it back. And now you just go around all the holes again. And put some sickle flex in them all. And now you just go along with all your tech screws. in place and then remove. Now you just finish off the ends. And so now to finish it off, just get some pair of tin snips. What I do is I just cut it off square to begin with. Just so it's less abrupt. And there you go. Happy as. So there you have it. A couple hours later, got the flares on all four wheels and we've trimmed them up nicely so it doesn't look too out of place. And now it's back to being street legal after running a couple of weeks of it not. So all in all, very happy. I'll stop getting mud and things flicked up over my car and I'm not going to pepper anyone else with rocks. So all in all, very successful day. Anyway, catch you next time.